So after months and months of work, I finally have completed my big board, my one and only big board for the 2018 NFL Draft. I know what the snark in many of you is going to say, well, kind of late for that, the draft is already underway. Nah, because where players get drafted has no impact on how I rank them, and ultimately it's going to be measured based off of what happens two, three, five, seven, eight years down the damn road. Doesn't really matter what already happened on Thursday night. So, I'm not sure what the character restrictions are in terms of YouTube in the description box. If all the rankings of all the players do not fit in the description box, I will try to pin it or highlight it, whatever the kids do nowadays, as the featured comment so that way everybody can see it and follow along. Uh, when I went through and was evaluating this draft class, a couple of things uh, that I call out is that I felt like the middle of the draft between rounds three through five was pretty damn strong. Like, really damn strong. And if you have a lot of picks in that space, it feels like a place you could come out of there with some really good players. You hear the talk about day one is where you get the stars, but you make your money and your championships on days two and three. And that is absolutely true. There is no question about that. You build the heart of your team on day two and day three. And when I look at the middle of this draft, talking about you could even throw in rounds two through five, I feel like the talent level is pretty good. So if you despair about who your team took in round one or who they passed on in round one, you could end up finding, depending on the position, a guy that could end up being equivalently as good, if not better, a little bit later on in the draft. Now in terms of the notable players here, I had a total of 19 guys that, when I looked at raw grading that I gave them, but then looked at other factors, 19 guys that I affixed a true first-round grade to. And that feels about right. Some years it might be a little less. Some years it might be slightly more. But I find it hard to envision a year where I will ever put a first-round firm grade on 32 guys. You'll see I've got like nine guys with first to second round grades because they're kind of in that middle ground range. Um, but 19 of them that if I was working for a team and I was in a draft room that I would be banging the table for in terms of if they fit us and they're there, they are worth taking in round one. Don't fuck this up, basically. Uh, my number one player in this class ended up being Quentin Nelson from Notre Dame. Even with some of the flaws I've pointed out before, I still feel like he ultimately is the safest pick in this entire draft with still the upside to be the best guard in football for many, many years. When you hear talk about this guy is going to be a gold jacket type of pick, to me, if you put money on it now, the absolute safest guy to bet on someday out of this draft that could be a gold jacket guy, meaning a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, it's Quentin Nelson. Bradley Chubb was my number two player in this draft, my top defensive player in this draft. He just, he looked the part, he played the part, he feels like he's going to be a big time difference maker in the National Football League. He, while he doesn't have the athletic upside of a Miles Garrett, I just feel like he's a better all around more complete football player. Saquon Barkley, number three. You know, I got a little bit of crap in the comments before when I've talked about how Saquon Barkley was not the same level of prospect as Ezekiel Elliott, and he wasn't. And get that through your skulls, he's not. But he is a slightly different prospect and still carries a massive amount of upside. A massive amount of upside. Especially when you talk about teams and their love of deploying running backs as a receiving option. Saquon Barkley comes in day one, doesn't even need to do any work. He's one of the best receiving backs in the league day one. And if he could figure out how to be more effective running between the tackles, he could be an absolute superstar in this league. Uh, to round out my top five, Tremaine Edmonds and Derwin James. When I look at Edmonds, I know a lot of people have Roquan Smith higher than him, and I get it. But Tremaine Edmonds is bigger, just as athletic, a little bit younger, and to me just carries more overall upside than Roquan Smith did. 
but I feel like both of them will be studs in the NFL. But I absolutely love Tremaine Edmonds. When I watched him, he reminded me of Brian Urlacher when Urlacher was at New Mexico. And then Derwin James felt like this year's Jamal Adams type of guy. That alpha dog who's going to be that dude that helps change the culture of the defensive meeting room. He's a leader on the field from day one, and he plays at a high level from day one. That's what Derwin James was to me on film at Florida State. Even with the past meniscus injury, it didn't matter. Now, in terms of the quarterbacks, I ended up having three of the guys that I put in round one consideration. Three of them. Josh Allen was my top-rated quarterback. He's the sixth overall player. Lamar Jackson was my second-rated quarterback. He was the ninth overall player. And Sam Darnold was my third quarterback, and he was number 11 overall on my board. When we look at this draft a few years from now, I find it very hard to believe, based off of historical precedent, that all five guys drafted in round one will ultimately make it, will ultimately be franchise quarterbacks. Like, I even look at a great draft class like 83. Yes, you had three Hall of Famers in John Elway and Jim Kelly and Dan Marino. But you also had Ken O'Brien, who was a solid starter, but not a superstar. You had Tony Eason that, yes, early in his career, helped lead the Patriots to a Super Bowl, but his career, for all intents and purposes, was over as soon as Super Bowl XX started. And then Todd Blackledge was a complete and total bust, and he was the second quarterback taken. Think about that. The Chiefs, before they took Mahomes last year, the last time they took a quarterback in round one, was Todd Blackledge out of Penn State 7th overall, 19 damn 83 and he was taken before Jim Kelly and Dan Marino. That's insane when you look back through the scope of history. So, that said, to me I feel like three guys in this draft had real franchise quarterback potential. I felt like it was Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, and Sam Darnold. There is a chance that I am massively wrong by about at least one of them, if not two of them. And I also feel like for the others that are going to come in here and say it's Mayfield and Rosen, the odds indicate that you are ass wrong about one of them and could be about both of them. But when I looked at the quarterbacks, those were the three guys that stood out to me above the rest. Um, as far as other players, I thought this was a really good interior line class. On the offensive side of the ball, a bad class in terms of offensive tackles, and that's reflected in my rankings as I've got three interior linemen. If you count Isaiah Wynn as an interior lineman, three interior linemen are within my top 15 overall. Talk about Quentin Nelson at number one. Josh Wynn for, or excuse me, Isaiah Wynn for Christ's sakes is number seven, and part of that was because I do think he can play left tackle at the NFL level. People sleep on him. And then Will Hernandez, that angry beast in the middle from UTEP. It was a really good interior line class. And it's reflecting, I feel like, in my grading. As it was with the running backs, too. Barkley, my number three overall player. Ronald Jones at 19. Darius Geis at 20, just outside of that firm first-round grade. It was a pretty good class of running backs, too, based off of what I saw. Um, but you can take a look. At my big board rankings, if you have questions or anything, you can try and chime in in the comments, and I'll try to get to them when I can. Um, but that's it. My final big board for the 2018 NFL Draft. Enjoy.